should an HIV positive person be legally mandated to disclose his or her status, particularly in intimate relationships? While there are no such laws here in TNT, one HIV advocacy stakeholder believes the emphasis should be on personal responsibility across the board. People living with HIV bear the sole responsibility for disclosure in an intimate relationship. They face criminal penalties even in circumstances where transmission is impossible. For example, U equals U. Undetectable equals untransmissible, which is a fact. And then they face the threat of prosecution, which creates a climate of fear and mistrust. The Caribbean Judges Forum on HIV and Human Rights seeks to create a space for analysis of how legislation and policies impact the human rights of persons living with HIV. Stakeholders lament that in many cases, the laws which are meant to protect have the opposite effect. The age of consent laws res restrict independent access to HIV testing for youth. There are requirements for parental consent for medical treatment. There lacks clear legal protections for youth confidentiality. UNAIDS director for the Caribbean recently sounded an alarm that the prevalence rate and the statistics among youth 14, 15 to 24, they account for a significant portion of new HIV infections in our region. And many, many of those young people living with HIV often remain undiagnosed. HIV advocacy stakeholders are calling for legislative reform. This is a call to action. I propose legal reform. We need to review and reform HIV-specific criminal laws, but there are also policies that should be accompanied by legislation, and we fail at that in the Caribbean. Meantime, Power reports that there are roughly 340,000 people living with HIV in the Caribbean. 90% of the new infections in the region were identified in Cuba, Dominican Republic, Haiti, as well as um, Jamaica. Haiti alone accounts for almost 38% um, of the new infections. And um, people, key population, men who have sex with men, uh, um, sex workers and their partners, they account for 47% of those new infections in 2022. But Powell says... The rate of new infections in the region has decreased by 22%. Renessa Cutting, TV6 News.